and good morning it's uh, Wednesday the 15th of June and today's video we're going to be covering the Skyreet ND filter set for the DJI Mini 3 Pro it's a bright sunny day so it's perfect for testing out these things and uh, I'll do a little side by side comparison for you so I had these for the Mini 2 they were a slightly different design these are quite clever they just click on the front you twist on twist off um, and if you remember the old ones on the Mini 2 were like kind of hook which always made me nervous as if they were going to fall off uh, or if they weren't attached properly you got a big purple cast or something all over the screen and the interesting thing with this on the polarizer uh, we used to have a little rotating dial so you could polarize away uh, but this is fixed and again polarizers only work effectively if it's 90 degrees to the light source so we'll see how that gets on but uh, we we'll might have to come back and cover that another time uh, about 50 quid on Amazon I'll put a link below as usual you can make me another 5p from that affiliate link I thank you very much and uh, we'll do them side by side in the field so I'll split the screen into six and uh, you can see how we get on with that okay so it's dead easy to fit these there's your little gimbal obviously do it when the propellers are off and I'll try my best to show you this so basically the front section of the element the front element comes off I can show you that there that comes off there and then you just take your filter and with the right in with the right in there that goes on the the side with two nubbler bits and the right the sky right at the top and it just twists back on yeah a bit fiddly but as with most of these things once you uh, do it a few times you soon get the hang of it interesting thing to know with that the DJI cover is there's no glass in it it's just that's for the, probably just some protection for the lens okay so to get it off hold the gimbal without pulling it just holding it steady and just twist anti-clockwise to put the to put the original cover back on just twist it back on clockwise easy peasy okay so over to uh, our field reporter complete with his sunglasses so basically I'll try and fly the same quick route and uh, with each of the different filters on so I'll have to see how that goes and again I'll explain about polarising uh, when we're back in the office so yeah if the sun's coming into your face this way if you're flying that way or this way you'll get a nice polarising effect if you're flying towards it or away from it you won't really feel the benefit but um, that's where the rotation used to come in anyway long story this one's fixed so we'll see how we get on but for now let's get set up and we'll get flying so i'll just while we're waiting for it to find some satellites i'll give you a quick rundown so we're in auto mode at the moment because it's bright sunshine i'm just going to show you what it's like when the drone adjusts itself for exposure okay wait for some satellites definitely ready for a haircut so um, yeah so i'm going to try and fly the same route as closely as possible but uh these things are always fluid <laughs> so we'll see how that goes but you should get a rough idea because then i'll be able to compare them all side by side right so here we go so we're at one meter above the ground and i'm going to point straight to that one post so here we go coming I can see that it's a long way away from us there you go she's automatically put the brakes on hello right so that's in auto mode right for that helicopter to go past all clear right so 
So I've split the screen into six to show the five filters and the polarizer. Uh, shutter speed is set at 1 over 120, so 1 20th of a second, ISO 100. And you can see quite clearly that ND8 is way overexposed, uh, the highlights are all blown out. ND16 you're getting a little bit of detail in the sky but still what I'd class to be overexposed. ND32 not too bad, uh, it's good for the shadow areas and there's a bit of detail in the sky still, that's not too bad. ND64 um, again plenty of detail in the sky, maybe a little underexposed on the grass and the trees and when we get to 128 um, way underexposed uh, plenty of detail in the sky polarizer as predicted not doing anything um, but you know maybe if we're going over water it'd be of some benefit so there you have it ND filters for the Mini 3 Pro from Skyreet 50 quid Amazon get yourself some and make the world of difference to your footage uh, I've showed you how to put them on, take them off, and uh, again, make sure you do that when the props are off. And uh, that's about it really, so any questions, comments, whatever, let me know down below, as they say. And it's been great to see you, so catch you next time. Subscribe.